Hey everybody, it's a lousy day out, it's raining, it's windy, we still have electric however, but I'm set up with that wind generator in case we don't. It's in the low 60s, so I guess it could be worse, it could be cold, it could be snow, but I thought today I'd do a quick indoor video, and it's Monday, I'm off, it's actually my wedding anniversary, so I decided to take today off. So I have to do this without the, <laughs> without the wife finding out that I'm making a video when she took off as well and we're supposed to be doing things together, but we're kind of limited due to the weather and, you know, the state of the nation right now. So anyway, this is the OT1250L. I picked this up at, of all places, Walmart, and I'll get right into it. I love the light 99.9%. The one percent, one tenth of a percent that I don't like is that the beam isn't focusable. You cannot adjust the beam. The other tack lights I've had, the beam was adjustable, but not this one. Um, a couple of cool things about this light. Let me shut off this light above me. Is you press it once and you have the bright light. You press it twice you have a dim light if you're working on things up close because honestly the bright light is too bright if you're doing up close work and the other thing that's pretty cool is and I'm hoping that you can see this you know what I'll I'll do the um, feature first then show you the function it has an automatic dimming feature which means the closer you get to things the dimmer the light gets and that's actually pretty cool. So, that's with the dimming feature off, with it on, off. Now, let me put this other light back in. To charge this light, it's USB, and you pull up on the back of the light and it exposes the charging area. You plug in the USB, which I always get upside down. You know the universe hates me, I swear. And when it's charging, this little red LED comes on. And when it's fully charged, it turns to green. Now, I charge it after every use so that it's fully charged every time I need it. So I honestly cannot tell you how long it takes to charge from completely dead to a full charge. Um, I used it last night and just now, and that's really all I've used it in probably a week or two. So what I'm going to do as well is... I'm sure you can see the five hours, zero minutes, zero seconds on my, uh, this is my workshop, by the way, on, on my workshop computer. And once this is fully charged, I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to start that timer and I'm going to see how long the battery lasts. I've been wanting to do this, but I haven't done it as of yet. So we're going to do that today. And I don't know what batteries are in here other than that they are lithium ion. And again, I'm, I'm very satisfied with this. Part of this video is going to take place tonight after dark, so I can do an outside in the dark demonstration. And I'll be back once this is fully charged. Okay, so that took about eight minutes to charge. And I don't know if you can see the green LED indicating that it's fully charged. And I will tell you this. The light does not come with the 120 portion of the charger and charging time is different depending on which 120 unit you're using. Um, I have the USB connector in my truck and that seems to be a lot better than the 120 outlets. It charges much faster. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to turn the light on, I'm going to dim the light above me, 
and start the timer and we're going to come back every five or ten minutes to see how long the light is going to last. And we're going to have it on the bright setting by the way. So let's start the timer and turn the light on. And as I said, we're going to come back periodically and see how long this lasts. So hang in there. Okay guys, two hours and just about 20 minutes, and we still have quite a bit of light here. So, two hours is pretty darn good for a tack light. So what I'm going to do now is put this back on the charger, and hopefully I can get it recharged completely by dark, which is, let's see, probably two and a half hours from now and then I can complete this video and show you what it looks like out in the pitch black of the darknessness. So hang in there and I'll be back with that portion of the video. The light is completely charged and it took about a little over two hours, two hours and six minutes, something like that. So Thankfully, I timed this pretty close, and it's dark out now, so we're going to go outside and uh, check it out. So the rain actually stopped, and it looks like we ducked what they were forecasting, which was high winds, possible tornadoes, torrential downpours, although it did rain pretty hard. We missed the windy stuff. Hear all the peepers down in the pond yakking it up. Some bugs and stuff. It's pretty dark, so I'm hoping I don't trip and kill myself over anything. I'm trying to make my way down here to a um, a runoff creek. That's still a little breezy. Okay, so let's check this light out. I'm going to hit the high beam first. And there's my little runoff creek. And this really is running. So, this is a really bright light. I don't want to walk into the water. I don't have my boots on anymore. And like I said, I really wish you could concentrate the beam. It's not really that bad, but if you could concentrate it with how bright this light is, you could see up there into that dark area. And that's probably 150 to 200 feet away. So now let's try the low beam. And there's the low beam, which is still more than enough light to navigate around with. And that's probably 50 to 75 feet away. So, with how long this thing runs on the high beam, you could easily get through a night. Probably two nights if you were conservative.
but that'll be it for this video I just wanted to show you guys what this fairly inexpensive light I think it was $37 I see it's a little more expensive on eBay all right guys have a great night be safe and talk soon